to my channel. But today I am making two car coasters. I've um, been working on a baby shower gift for two mothers, two friends of ours, and um, their sisters. They're both pregnant at the same time. They're just um, about a month or two off from each other. And uh, so they're having a dual baby shower. So I've got a baby shower gift already started for the two of them. And I thought since I had extra prints of their sonograms, I would make the dads something. So I'm going to make the dads um, some car coaster. I'm going to turn the photos upside down because I do want to have um, something else going on on the backs of these. Um, we'll see if I do it or not. What my plan is right now, I've got um, these adorable stickers that I got from Michaels and um, I'm definitely planning on putting a hand and a foot, maybe a foot, definitely a hand, handprints on the backs of these, maybe two handprints, yeah. I was thinking of maybe saying hi dad, I'm not sure, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Um, let me get these in here, got those in. I think, you know, I might actually put those stickers on there now. I've got some tweezers here that'll help, especially since I'm wearing gloves. I've got 60 milliliters mixed up here. That should definitely be enough. If not, I can always mix up some more. About 60 milliliters is more than enough for both of these. I've got them. Um, Got some left over in there actually. Wow, about 30 milliliters worth left over. I'm gonna get these bubbles popped real quick. I wanna press down into this and make sure that the resin is getting up underneath the pictures. Again, I don't want any kind of gap. You can see, and by pressing that, it's pulling up some large bubbles already, which is good. I can get those popped right away. sprinkles that I got from um, Dollar Tree they actually work really well in resin they don't melt so it's gonna be just perfect to sprinkle around go ahead and let these cure overnight and uh, I'll be back to unmold them tomorrow. Hey guys just a quickie you know I had that leftover um, resin so I pulled out two of my letters S and Q to go with baby A and baby B and went ahead and 
got those poured up. Just getting out some of the bubbles. I see some larger ones down here I can pop. Letting these cure overnight. Be back to unmold them tomorrow. Right, I'm back. I'm working on my two letters. I've gone ahead and laid down the sonogram picture on top of that first layer of resin. You can probably see it a little better, a little bit on here. This is baby S. Um, I'm putting baby Q's picture right here. Here's his sonogram. That's turned upright. I'm going to put his right into the crease of this Q. Try and get it in as best as I can. Get it folded down a little bit. All right, and I've got some embellishments that I'm going to put on top of here now. So some of the things that I have, I've got um, some stickers that I did get from Michaels. Um, I've gone ahead and filled in the bottom layer of the two letters. I've got quite a bit of things in there. I've got some safety pins, uh, pacifiers, onesies, bottles, some rattles, little Hello Babies, and the sonogram pictures. Mommy from Baby S is really into sugar skulls, so I did add just for her sugar skull. I know you wouldn't normally see that with a baby, but you know, this is a different mom. And this mom is into elephants, so we've got the teddy bear and the elephant riding on a skateboard here. Okay, got that. And we go and I've got um, some little rubber duckies in there too. And I've used some sprinkles, blue sprinkles that I got in the baking section of Dollar Tree. Uh, they don't melt. It's fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and fill both of these. I think I should just go ahead and fill them up completely because um, there really isn't much else I want to put in there. You're not going to be seeing the backs of them anyway. You're just going to be seeing the front. So there really isn't anything I, sh I need to decorate on the back any at all. Um, I'm not sure how much is going to fill for both. So I think I'll start with... 100 milliliters in each and see what um, see what it does. I'm going to go ahead and mix, in my, mix up my resin and I'll be back. I went ahead and mixed up 200 milliliters of resin. I don't know if this is going to completely cover one mold or not. <laughs> things gonna move around a little bit because you know they're not stuck at the bottom they're just sitting there <laughs>
some of the things are floating. My duck is floating. The onesie is floating. So are so is this little pacifier here. And again, I'm good with that. I'm actually really happy that it is floating because it shows it like it's in the middle then. Go ahead and get some of these bubbles popped. I'm going to go ahead and mix up another 200 milliliters of resin so I can do baby cues. Guys, if you're liking this video so far, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Yes, 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 yes. These are going to be so adorable. I can't wait to show them to the moms. I'm already excited about them. All right. So both of them look like you know what, honestly, they look like they could hold another 200 milliliters of resin each. Now, I'm going to be real. It, it's taken a box of, um, total of 16 ounces of resin for each of these letters. So, if you're going to make and sell these, keep that in mind. That you are going to be using a lot of resin. Unfortunately, this... I buy that particular resin. I'm gonna show it to you again. It's the the clear casting resin. I buy this from Michaels. Normally I buy much larger size than this, but when I went to go get some extra resin, this is all they had was this size. I'm not crazy about that. I've got to actually see if I can find a website for them and order directly from them. Because I'd rather buy a gallon and save money. Alright, I'm going to let these dry overnight. And I'll be back tomorrow for the last layer. Yes! Alright, so I'm done with mixing. Um, I'm adding a couple of these sprinkles to the back of this mold. Okay, they're sticking to my fingers. Oh my god. Um... You didn't see that. <laughs> okay. Guys, mistakes happen. I'm adding these sprinkles to the back of this mold just because I didn't add anything else in it. And um, so I want it to have some kind of a backing to it. excited. I'm gonna let this dry overnight and tomorrow we will unmold it. Yay! Whew. Baby showers this weekend. This will be ready just in time. Um, I'll show you how I'm going to put it all together. I've got... All right, I am inside for the unmolding. Got baby Q, baby S, so, something I gotta show you on Baby Q. I made the mistake of leaving these outside to cure yesterday, and I didn't cover them. Well, lo and behold, this has never happened, but you know, every time, there's always that one time, and this one time, I go outside to bring everything in, and a bug had decided to land right here and of course it died in the resin really upsetting I dug it out as much as I possibly could and I'm going to 
try and do a small cover up of this rotten thing because I got as much of the body out as I possibly could and uh, so I put a little E6000 there as you see and I got some of my blue sprinkles here that I'm going to put on top thankfully this is the back of baby Q and hopefully you won't be able to see that from the front okay we're, we're crossing our fingers on this one All right I got these lighted stands for them you can plug them into your computer or into a wall socket I'll show that to you I want to put my letters on top of here and I do want them to be a permanent fixture on top so I will be using my E6000 and I'm also going to use a little bit of hot glue to help that along as well but before that let's unmold all right I had to come off camera to unmold this guys here is the mold it was a beast to come off and that was with the um the spray that i used i'm i'm glad i'm off camera because there was a lot of crying a lot of cursing other than the mold itself i do like how it turned out some of the things like uh hello baby flipped around in there oh actually it didn't flip around <laughs> i had it upside down oh dear god Okay, well, I've got some more scraping to do because this is now the top and this is the bottom. Ah! All right, I've got Baby S cleaned up. Here is Baby S's sonogram picture. It says, hello, baby. We've got pacifiers, the duck, diaper pins. And this is how it's going to sit. So I know that everything within this spot is what I want to have my glue on. I'm going to use E6000 because I want this to stay. Do you want to see what it looks like when it's plugged in? Let me put this back up. Yeah, that's where I want it to go. Let me plug this in for you so you can see what it looks like plugged in. I've got it plugged into my mini laptop right now. I know you're only seeing the bottom of it. Let me look at that. That's going to be so pretty all lit up. Yes. All right. I'm going to put a small layer of E6000 down. A little bit of hot glue down there. Perfect. All right. Got that sitting. And that will dry quickly because it is hot glue that I'm using. Go ahead and erase my pencil mark. Nice. Baby S is ready to be wrapped and given away. Now time to unmold Baby Q. <sighs> Please let this unmold go much better. It already is going much better. I don't know what it is about that letter S. You know, that's the second, the second S mold that I had to buy. Because the first one did the same thing. Here's Baby Q's sonogram picture. And I've got all the other details in here. I like that. And hey, guess what? Only you and I know that a bug died on the back because you can't see it from here at all. Of course, now if you turn around, you can feel the candies that I got in there. Let me squish them down a little bit. <laughs> 
could only you could see it from the top though. Oh my god. Okay, we're not gonna we're not gonna tell anyone about that. We're just gonna let it be. There are a few bubbles inside of here. This is not as clear on the front as baby S's was. And I don't know if it's because of the spray I used or the mold, because the mold is from a different place. Not really sure. But let's go ahead and get Baby Q up on his stand. But hey, guess what, guys? I still have a working mold. Ta-da! Anybody else with the name Q need, need something? That's why I don't need a lot of hot glue because the E6000 is really what's going to be holding this. There we go. Got it. And it is centered the way I want it to be. Let's turn on Baby Q. Grab the laptop real quick. Oh, look at Baby Q lit up. Nice. Loving it. All right, so there is Baby Q. I'm just going to set Baby Q off to the side for a second. I want to show you something extra that I made. These are car coasters, and as you see, I used the little um, sprinkles that I got from Dollar Tree in there. This is actually the back of the coaster, because on the front of the coaster, ta-da, we've got Baby's sonogram picture. There's Baby Q, and here is Baby S. Love it. Love it. All right, so here they are finished. Baby S, Baby Q. Get in a little closer. We've got Baby S, car coaster for Dad. And the front is his son. And on the back, not his son's finger hand prints, but he can use either side. Let me come in so you can see everything I've got inside of the letter. There's the sugar skull for mom, the little pacifier, onesie, diaper pen and bottle. There's the rattle, and the rattle really does rattle. It has things inside. Ducky. Ah. Here is baby S and our hello baby with the pacifier. And then over here we've got dad's car coaster with baby Q. And on the back, fake baby handprints. <laughs> and we've got Baby Q sonogram in here, pacifier and diaper pen. We've got elephant and teddy on a skateboard. Another pacifier right here. And then ducky and a diaper pen. Rattle. Again, this rattle does have little things inside of it, so it can rattle. Bottle onesie, another diaper pen, and hello baby over here. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you've had problems with your six inch letter molds, let me know about that too. Oh wait, there is one more thing that I made for both moms. Hold on. I'll be right back. Let me go grab. I completely forgot that while I was messing around and had extra resin, I made um, letter keychains for the moms as well. Let's get these unmolded. Here's baby S. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see the diaper pen in there? It's right there. It's got a little bit of blue, blue ink in there with the sprinkles. And here is baby Q. Little diaper pen right in there. Here we are, completely finished now. See you in the next video, guys. If you haven't already, please 
like the video and subscribe. Bye!